you, Leahs. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is uh, the this is the love reading for um the month of um November. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration. Um, Leahs, let's see what's happening in love for you guys and. Uh, I want to say to you, Leah's, you know, open up to the energy of love. Love is powerful. Um, and each and every month I do these readings. They're free because life is full of surprises and you never know what you receive in life. And we need to give back as we have received. So that is really wonderful. Whatever the issues, the situation is, whatever that is transpiring, we got to find out what it is that makes us all think. Love is the most beautiful thing that you could ever expect. And this is what is happening in transpiring. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, let's see what is going on. Let's find out what is transpiring. And I want to say thank you so much for coming in. I love you, Leah's. I really love you guys. I love you, Leos. I really love you guys. Whatever that is happening and transpiring, Leos, this is just so wonderful, so beautiful. So let's see whatever is happening. Leos, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Let's check out what is happening for you guys in the month of November. The mystical reading is out. The mystical reading it's about when to manifest. And um, you can pick it up. So it's mystical for the fire sign. Mystical reading for the fire sign. Um, and uh, um, please like and share these videos. Thumbs up. Share, share, share. Set your notification button at home so you know when we are uploading any videos. Okay. So Leah's, let's check out and see what is coming out for the Leah's. Oh, karma, Leah's. Karma. Um, open relationship. Karma with open relationships so whatever is happening the Yulias are having some karmatic with open relationship okay so um karma is the central of uh, um your love relationship you're dealing with karmatic relationships okay so let's see what else is coming out we see dating so a lot of you are dealing with karmatic issues in relationship open relationship a lot of dating that is going on there all right i'm seeing unions wedding people who are married so some of you could be in karmatic unions so um some of you the young people again comes up these are young people 25 and under under 25 is here they're having a lot of open relationship i'm seeing um some of you could be connected with people in power this is coming up I'm seeing true gem is coming up. This is the first time it came out, and that's for you, Leah. So that is good. I'm seeing friendship, um, true gem, love. That is, uh, um, a true gem that is going to be born in friendship. I'm seeing unexpected, um, luck and gifts coming out. Some of you could be connecting with rich, um, people, um, people in powerful places, high places and um what is going to be happening i'm seeing you could be really connecting with them now the center of the month and this month in love is going to be affecting um the people 25 years and under okay so people 25 years and under i'm seeing you're you're dating a lot you might be going out and meeting a lot of people so people 25 years and under a lot of stuff is happening opening relationship with married men and women friendship that has been bond because of certain interests i'm seeing dating you're do doing a lot of dating but you're dating people from past life i'm seeing you meeting the love of your life but you're not really seeing because some of you have someone that means a lot of them um, a lot to you but you're not really seeing this I'm seeing unexpected gifts. So some of you could be getting pregnant, especially you young people, 25 years and older, because you are carrying the energy of, uh, you are carrying the energy of uh, this month of November. Okay. Um, so you gotta be careful, um, what is happening. So let's see what karma, what is coming out for karma. 
gotta put my glasses on so for karma and this karma has been coming up so a lot of you are dealing with karmatic relationship karma um yeah so uranus and venus and pluto that means a lot of people are going to be getting divorced and the karma card is beside the union so that is marriage so a lot of divorce is happening some of you your divorce might be just finalizing in this month but divorce is going to be happening where a lot of you might be just finalizing your divorce okay so uh this is definitely definitely happening okay so open relationship i'm seeing flexibility <laughs> <laughs> so uranius uh venus and jupiter so i'm seeing a lot of open relationship um that is happening and these open relationships are, and, and it's, it's flexibility and yeah open relationship is actually being flexible and okay and understanding that you know you're seeing people but it's not really um you know uh, and, and and uranius uranius and venus can you imagine uranius and venus now with open relationship what a perfect card uranius and venus you know you are having you're enjoying yourself one way or the other <laughs> you know because um uh, venus and jupiter it's about being in love enjoying and having really some hot passionate sex and that sort of a thing and you know enjoying where it's leading you know without even having anything behind there all right then we have dating two down saturn and mars so we have some dating going on but um some of you are going to be learning a lesson from dating in this month whatever the lesson is some of you are going to be learning the lesson from dating in this month and the lesson is about discipline it's about uh, whatever is to inspire you're going to be learning the date polarity the sun in mars polarity the sun in mars some sun in mars polarity and this has to do um with uh, um leo and the cancer so if you are um oh yeah this is the leo reading leo and the cancer if you're married to a cancer you might be getting divorced okay so if you're married to a cancer you might be getting divorced or you could be married a cancer so you could be because this is polarities that is going on here okay the, the sun and moon so this is the leo reading so definitely um you you could be marrying a cancer or you could be ending a relationship with a cancer but it's union so you could be marrying a cancer now the young people um, 25 years and on the Venus and Mercury whatever is happening with Venus and Mercury is that it's not really looking good for you young people under the age of 25 it's not looking that good for you people okay so be plain and straight it's it's not communication is not there it's, it's, it's not looking good for you um, guys Venus and Mars um, um, your wishes is going to be coming true. Um, some of you were hoping to get divorced and the relationship. Your wishes is going to be granted. All right. It's like the universe is saying, yes, your wishes. Neptune and Venus. I'm seeing that um, you are having a clean slate and this clean slate is going to be bringing in new love. You're having a clean slate. So it's going to be bring in new love. So um you're having a clean slate with someone you're being open all this uh, um and you're having this clean uh, slate with someone whatever the issues is or situation you're definitely having a clean slate with someone and this is very wonderful and very beautiful so um you could have cheated you have left the third party you're returning to your marriage and you're starting over anew because you realize that is the love of your life saturn venus and mars conventional so saturn venus and mars and this is all about the relationship so i'm seeing that some of you realize that a relationship didn't work so you're staying very good friends saturn that is discipline venus that is love and mars is about shaking up the old thing and realizing 
it didn't work so guess what we're staying friends and this is so beautiful oh my god this is this is absolutely beautiful then what else we have we have um morris um so gelatinite gelatinite is the time when you're letting go someone or something but actually a gift is coming in so some of you could be ending a relationship which is which is a gift from the universe okay so some of you are thinking about ending a relationship but actually this relationship is a gift from the universe so don't let go of something if you don't understand it because some of you are ending a relationship but it's actually a gift from the universe so whatever is there and whatever is transpiring whatever is happening whatever you're trying to do and um, it is actually a gift from the universe so whatever is uh, is there and um, some of you was gifted someone or something um this was a beautiful person and um, you want to let it go and it's, it's it's like the your angels and guides to say no reconsider we gave you this person why do you want to let go of this person we gave you this person so whatever is happening and transpiring is it's, ooh, this is kind of weird i hate this oh my god are you serious no so whatever is happening ladies and gentlemen i swear to god so i'm <laughs> okay i'm laughing because it's a mystical time and i don't think it's really my spirit guide is messing this up i just think um but anyway let me let it go because um it's beautiful it's a beautiful love reading so let's get in it there is something that sometimes my spirit guides want to tell me something and like i'm someone i'm very i'm a perfectionist so i know how i hold my cards and sometimes my spirit guides want to give me a message like if i'm doing a reading my spirit guides want to give me a message and i guess that that was what they wanted to do all right so let's look and see karma karma for the leas in love what is happening karma for the leas in love month of november what is happening karma for the leas in love month of november what is happening okay so i can see that you had some karmatic relationship that you're deciding to end in the heartbreak is in the reverse which is very good so some of you were dealing with some karma from a past life and this is good because um i'm seeing some of you could have divorced or decide to divorce someone now whatever is happening and transpiring whatever this karma is whatever this heartbreak is uranus it could be um with a aquarian all right and a scorpion okay so it could be met an aquarian and a scorpion whatever this uh, um karmatic relationship with an aquarian and a scorpion okay whatever that was all about whatever that heartbreak was about uh, obviously it could be an aquarian it is an aquarian and a scorpion you're letting it go you're letting it go and i'm seeing that um you're focusing on keeping financial stability so it could be that you were in a relationship you were married and whatever happened and transpired is that um you're realizing that you had an outside relationship that was heartbroken you came back into your marriage that was something that you had to um clear up okay open relationships and flexibility i am seeing some of you um having no emotional connection so you're in open relationship okay and this is something from a past life time so i'm seeing some of you um are having an open relationship with a cancer some of you are definitely having an open relationship with a cancer this cancer is someone you have known in past lifetime i am seeing that some of you need to be aware whoever this cancer is jupiter is uh, um 
there is an uh, this cancer is in a re relationship with an Aries, but they want to return in your life and have an open relationship with you and this Aries. Don't do it. Bye bye bye. So you could have been married to a cancer, and uh, this cancer is basically having an open relation. Wants to have an open relationship. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. So, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> we're going further and seeing the dating queens. What is happening? So, with the dating queens, I'm seeing that some of you people who are dating or seeing um, a situation, some of you have kids, some of you are hoping for an healing for the relationship between you and your child, mother, or father you're really open to find someone who can be a parent to your child. So I'm seeing some of you dating, but it's as if you're looking for someone who can be a parent to your child. Whether you're a man or a woman, whoever you're dating, you're looking for a partner who can be a parent to you. Some of you could be meeting an Aquarius or a Pisces you're dating it feels good but you're not really sure okay now with the people who are married i'm seeing wonderful positive energies coming in with people who are married i'm seeing happiness and joy is coming in whatever is happening if there was outside influence i'm seeing you really settling down with one person i'm seeing some of you want to return to a taurus virgo or a capricorn whoever this person is uh, I am seeing that you are in love with this person. You want to be with this person. There was some emotional situation in the past that you're leaving behind. So you're choosing for your marriage. So if you were having outside relationship, um, I'm seeing most of you choosing for your marriage. Whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing you choosing for your marriage. I'm seeing a healing coming up between you and someone that is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn with a man or woman, but you're choosing for your marriage if you're married to this person, okay? Whatever emotional imbalance that there was is uh, going to be um, resolved. Okay, so what we're looking at for the, the young people, the young people, there is an ending coming up to a relationship and the end to your financial stability. So some of you young people who were in relationship with um, people who were married or people who were um, financially supporting you, I'm seeing the end is coming into this relationship and the end is coming into your financial stability. So whatever that was happening that, you know, you were with a, a woman or a man who were supporting you, um, I'm seeing an end coming up. So if you are um 25 years and younger i'm seeing this coming up So as um, we look at you young people again, what is happening for you young people for uh, 25 years and younger, a relationship that you were in is going to come to an end. There is going to be some sadness, whatever the financial flow that you are receiving from this person is going to be ending. Okay. So let's look at the people who are dealing with people in, um, okay, so this is wonderful because whatever is transpiring, your worries, some of you are worried because some of you have been seeing someone who is very powerful or it could be a professional person. Some of you are divorcing from this person. There's a lot of worries. 
but the divorce is going to happen you are protecting yourself from this person it's like this person is always watching you you could be under it's, it's as if this person could have an investigation investigator out on you so if you're divorcing because I'm seeing this is coming up as a divorce if you are divorcing your partner could have a private investigator on you so you gotta be careful because I'm seeing that you're watching or someone is watching you either you feel as if something is a little bit off or either you feel as if you're being watched or someone is watching you but there is a private investigation there is um, a divorce and I'm seeing your partner putting a private investigator or you are doing it but you're feeling as if you're being watched so yet the possibility does exist true love true gem is coming in i've seen that some of you have made a decision this is very good this is looking good some of you have met someone who you realize is really a positive person you make the decision the decision that you're going to be making in november is going to be the right decision because whoever this person is is the right person because this person is going to work on this relationship is someone who really loves you there is no question about you and you and this person is going to be making and building a family together and this is good so you have made the right decision um because i'm seeing some of you have been thinking in the month of october i'm going to really settle down with this person and you're going to do it and this is going to be very very good so whoever it is some of you this could be a pisces and I'm seeing that you and the Spices is going to be working together to bring balance in a relationship, okay?